Hello students. From uh, today onwards, I am going to take care of your English. Okay. Now, as many of you might have aware that uh, Santosh sir uh, is not going to continue uh, English. So henceforth, I am going to uh, teach you English. Okay. And uh, recently we have finished our uh, first unit test also, and uh, the paper which uh, this time I made the paper, okay. And uh, the paper which I sent, I hope all of you have solved it. And uh, obviously it was a very easy paper, so uh, none of you have felt any kind of uh, um, problem in that. Now whatever lessons are left, so um, I am going to teach that lessons and hope. Uh, you will understand all that lessons as Santosh sir was teaching. Mm, I will also try to explain you each and everything. Okay, so today uh, let us start <clears throat> lesson number eight. Three questions. I am on page number uh, eighty-three, and I am going to teach you three questions. Now, these three questions is written means the author of these three questions is uh, Leo Tolstoy. Now, who is Tolstoy? First of all, let us discuss about this uh, great author, great writer. Now, Leo Tolstoy is basic was basically a philosopher. Okay, uh, he wrote many many stories, and many of him out of that many of his stories were about uh, the students for children. Most of the time, uh, means. As I read many of his stories, out of that, uh, many stories were there in which we used to get uh, morals. Okay. Now, uh, as far as this three question is concerned, so this three question is about. Uh, uh, sorry, this three questions is a kind of uh, parable. Now, what is a parable? So, parable is a kind of story, which uh, uh, gives us some kind of moral. Okay, and uh, parables are basically the stories which, in which the human character, the example or the story is uh, uh, story is told with the help of the human characters. So this in this uh, lesson also we could call it as a lesson. Uh, we are going to see such a wonderful parable written by. Uh, Tolstoy. Now, before going to the story of this lesson, I would like to ask you some of the questions because uh, in this lesson we are going to talk about uh, three questions. The name of the lesson itself is three questions. So before that, I would like to ask some of the questions, and uh, then we will proceed for the remaining, means uh, for the lesson. Now, what I've want to ask you um, i want to ask you three questions now uh, because this is video so we cannot uh, interact with each other but uh, you can uh, at least sit at home and uh, you can uh, at least think about the question answer of the questions which i am going to ask you now tell me uh, what do you think what is the most uh, important time of someone's life Be, okay uh, i'm changing my question sorry what, what i'm asking uh, you tell me what is the most important time in uh, any of the person's life what i'm asking i'm asking what is the most important time in any of the human's life i'm giving you 10 seconds to uh, think the answer okay uh, so think about the answer and uh, i will wait for 10 seconds think about it think about the answer and uh, answer to yourself i hope uh, many of you uh, try to think about the answer and uh, you got the answer also later i am going to ask this answers also how i will tell you now the another thing which i would like to ask you is uh, tell me what is the right people in anybody's life or who is the most important person in anybody's life what do you think tell me 
who is the most important person or who are the most important people in anybody's life tell me think about it 10 seconds okay you might have at least uh, uh, thought that who would be the people now uh, there might be a list later you can think about that and the third question which i would like to ask is what is the most important thing in anybody's life what is the most important thing in anybody's life what do you think what is the most important thing in your life What is the important thing means what is that thing that you must do? So I hope uh, I don't know how many of you are able to uh, able to think the answers of three these three questions. Uh, even I don't know how many of you uh, thought about the answers but uh, think about these answers means what will happen when you will think about the answers so automatically uh, you will get uh, you will get the ideas different ideas and uh, you know from that ideas uh, if you will get more and more such ideas that ideas will help you to uh, write answers it help us to uh, to think on time okay now this question, uh, sorry, this lesson is also about uh, three questions. Now, Leo Tolstoy is asking us three questions. So, let me tell you in short the summary of the lesson. Now, what is the summary? The summary of the lesson is there is a king. Now, uh, one day the king was uh, sitting in his court and all of a sudden he got an idea. He got an idea means uh, one thing came in his mind. And what was that thing? So, the thing was... Uh, he came came up with three questions in his mind and he thought ki if sub, any of the person will get the answers of these three questions then that person will always um, get success in any of the thing or that uh, that person will get success in life means he thought that if those who will know the answer of these three questions definitely will get the uh, will get success in life and he thought ki uh, why not uh, miss, if i will get the answers of that three questions then definitely i will also be a very successful king and that is why he thought uh, sorry he started thinking about the answers but he was not uh, he was not getting the answers then what he did so he asked his ministers his ministers were also not getting the answers then what he said he did he, he, he told his ministers he said that go and uh, make a proclamation in my kingdom that those who will give the answers of these three questions will get a handsome reward and then what happened uh, the orders were followed a proclamation was given in his kingdom many people came to give the answers of these three questions so different different answers he got different people came with the answers of different questions and that is why he got a lot of answers of this question but the king was not satisfied with any of the answers and that is why the king was that is why king was dejected he was thinking oh my god what is this in my entire kingdom nobody knows the answer of this when he was thinking about that when he was uh, yes he was thinking about that one of his courtier uh, told him that uh, oh my lord don't be upset don't be sad uh, there is one hermit who knows who is actually the hermit is a very uh, wise person and he knows the answer of each and everything in this world answer of uh, the question of each and everything in this world but there is one problem and he, uh, he said ki the problem is uh, you cannot go in royal uh, in royal uh, uh, what is that royal uh, dress uh, means you cannot go as a uh, as a king to the to the hermit because the hermit talks only to the common people he do not talk with the uh, the kings and kings and the nobles and the priest and all such big pe people he talks only and only to the common people so the king said no problem 
i will uh, disguise with the uh, with the, the disguise with the normal man and i will go and the king went there and uh, then he made the hermit he made the wise man and uh, later he asked the answer of three questions his three questions and uh, later uh, the remaining story i am not telling you the remaining story we will have to see from the lesson okay one more thing don't read the uh, the lesson in advance because until uh, means otherwise we will not uh, get the, means you will not enjoyed the lesson in that way okay so the hermit and there is a, a big discussion between the hermit and the king and later he uh, whether he gets the answer or not or if he gets the answer whether he gets satisfied with or uh, with that or not that we will discuss in the next video till then uh, have a nice day thank you very much bye